Hey, 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 good people. Welcome to this uh, brief discussion or this introduction, I should say, uh, to the discussion that we're going to be having this week in regards to privilege and the isms. Now, as you know, the title of this course is Race, Class, and Gender in Society. And so those issues along with sexuality, or, or I should say those topics, along the topic of sexuality, those are going to be the ones that we're going to be discussing uh, this semester. However, I would like for us just to take a few minutes to just lay the foundation of what it is and how we're going to be approaching these issues or talking about some of the issues that we may be seeing in society today. Some of the issues or some of the topics that may present themselves as, um, maybe we could say courageous conversation. I like that. Uh, making us stop and pause for a moment to think about what we're thinking about. So when we are dealing with these four basic topics, race, class, gender, and sexuality in society, um, we have to have an understanding of the standard that has been set, that has been established, our cultural norm, so to say, that has been established, um, that has kind of created um, this idea or the concept, or actually maybe I should say has brought out the truth of privilege. Now I know, I know, I know, I hear you all already that that just seems to be a buzzword, that that's the new thing going on that folks are talking about right now, but we have to have this understanding about what privilege is and be able to acknowledge the fact that privilege does exist. Uh, when we're talking about privilege, we have to have an understanding that privilege is basically a form or an aspect of oppression. The oppression that helps kind of maintain and grant the idea of power and control for a majority that may have spoken or that may have helped to establish the standard that we now function under. Now, with that idea of uh, oppression and the idea of privilege, we have to be able to acknowledge that while privilege does exist, that there are people who have or function with privilege, that they are often used to having that privilege, but they don't even really recognize that that privilege is truly there. And when I say people, I'm not just talking about based on race or ethnicity, because uh, when we talk about oppression and privilege, we got to understand that there's a, a fruit that comes from the seed of privilege or the seed of oppression that has been planted. And that fruit um, shows itself in the form of isms. Now, we all are familiar with one of the very basic isms, which would be racism. But we have to know that there's other isms out there that we're going to be addressing or isms that we need to look at. There's ableism, there's, there's ageism, there's anti-Semitism, there is homophobia slash heterosexism, there's sexism, there is classism. So these isms that we are dealing with, the fruit of privilege and oppression, these are things that we can't turn a blind eye to, okay? So when we're talking about privilege, I just wanna leave you with a few things. Um, although privilege may be unearned, the benefits based on privilege are still there. Um, people with privilege often feel that, uh, that sometimes when there's something that, that is unjust that has occurred, that they may become um, angry because now I'm bringing up, or they may become defensive because I'm bringing up the fact that something has happened in one's favor based on an unassigned or an unearned, I should say, an unearned privilege. Um, when we talk about privilege and the isms, we also have to be mindful that there is an unlearning that we have to do. We've learned a lot from, from the womb to the tomb, we could say, but sometimes some of the learning that has established our foundation may not be the, the true learning or may not be complete learning, we could say, that's going to guide us through actually thinking about what we're thinking about so that when we are having or engaging in conversation or we're considering what's going on in the world around us, that we have a true full picture of everything that, that, may, that may need to be assessed. And when I say everything, I need you to go back, good people, to intro to sociology. 
and chapter one, when we were introduced to the idea of research and assessment. And we were introduced to the concept of the independent variable and the dependent variable. Independent variable being the causes, being things that can stand separately in and of themselves. The dependent variable being the outcome. We have to sometimes be in a position where we're willing to unlearn, unlearn some of the independent variables and relearn, again, some existing independent variables that could factor into the outcome or the dependent variable. How would it change the dependent variable? So when we're talking about privilege and we're talking about isms, we have to be uh, in a mind place that we have the understanding that privilege, although it is unearned, it is not always granted for those who may be um, in a position to have that for themselves. And again, when we're talking about the isms, we have to have that understanding as well, that the isms are the fruit that have been grown or that have been um, watered, shall we say, based on the privilege and the oppression. And again, remember that oppression is the, the source. It is the, uh, the, the foundation, I can say that is going to allow the inequality or is going to allow the, um, the inequality is going to allow the, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my words, uh, going to allow the oppression to, to maintain its hold, the power and control over a select group of people. And remember that group goes all along, all those isms that we talked about. Okay, so what I want for you to do, good people, in the, uh, this week, you are going to view a documentary um, that's entitled Valentine Road, uh, a very powerful documentary uh, about the life of one young man named Lawrence King. I also want you to read the article by Peggy McIntosh, Unpacking the Invisible Knapsack. Uh, and there's also a presentation that she's done, a TEDx presentation that she's done, that I'm going to ask you to watch that as well. All of this information is together for you in your module. And so I'm gonna encourage you to go ahead and watch that documentary, watch uh, the presentation by Peggy McIntosh, read her article, and then join me on the discussion post for some good uh, thoughtful conversation, we will say, uh, about the issue of privilege and isms. All right, good people. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of the things that we'll be addressing this week, you know how to get in contact with me. Either send me an email or contact me on my office phone. All right, y'all. I'll catch you on the discussion post. Y'all have a great day.